my Minecraft server was crashed by a hacker and yours could very easily be the next one that this is done to. Or yours could very easily be griefed into oblivion. Hi there, I'm Cosmo, otherwise known as Cosmonautic, and basically, I know that was a very strong intro, bear with me here, I'm gonna explain quite a lot. Before I get started, I just want to say I do apologize if you can hear my dog snoring or any like dog noises in the background. Both of them are in my room and one is sleeping under my desk. He's very loud. <laughs> so like I said, the other day I was streaming on my server, MSMP, and someone joined in my stream chat on Twitch. Their name was Serva Krasha, I believe. It was Serva Krasha or Serva Krasha, something along those lines. And honestly, you know when you get that like feeling in the bottom of your stomach, like you know something's about to go wrong? That's what I felt the moment I read that name. It's like when your teacher pulls you aside and pulls you out into the hallway to talk to you. Or it's like when you're sitting in your room just doing whatever and your parents text you come here right now you know here I'll, I'll play the clip for you i really tried playing this off because i don't really want to always think the worst i'm a person that deals with a lot of anxiety and the only way i've really learned to get around the anxiety and paranoia is just try to think on the more positive side and also remain calm in situations like this which in hindsight and for reasons i'll explain later i'm very grateful i did here's the clip by the way uh i think so but i'm in the nether so you should be fine <laughs> Welcome to the stream server, Krasha. You do in the thing. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Do I have the wrong recipe? Oh. Did the server crash? Oh. Yeah, it did. That's interesting. Interesting timing, Mr. Server Krasha. Redeemed nut bun. Let's do no. Then, lo and behold, my SMP crashed. And when I checked the server console, it was because a singular IP kept trying to join, but was constantly failing. So you can imagine as I'm sitting there staring at my private SMP console, I'm extremely confused. And my first thought is one of my SMP members leaked the domain while they were live. A very important note of information here is that I have never given out the actual IP of the server. I always just gave out a domain, which still allows connection, but I always thought it was a little bit of an extra layer of security and i was wrong because now we're gonna get into how they got access to my server this was all very new information for me but thankfully i got an answer pretty quick when i posted a little announcement in my smp's discord about what had happened because i was asking if anybody remembered if they had accidentally flashed the domain on screen while they were streaming and and one of my smp members dms me and gives me a bit of insight into what could have happened here i'm not going to say what they said obviously because it's private dms but they made me aware of a couple tools that people are able to use in order to pull information about minecraft servers i'm going to explain how and i'm going to try to explain it in not super techie terms which Forgive me if I do use a lot of technical terminology. I don't think I will, but I'm also a computer science major. I'm technically most of the way through earning my computer science degree with it being specialized in cybersecurity, but I will be switching to software engineering because I find it a lot more interesting. Bear with me. I'll try to make this as easy to understand and stomach as possible. So basically what these people do is they have a bot that will continuously ping several different IP addresses that are in the range of like typical Minecraft servers. And what happens when the bot pings is it will ping and if it's a successful ping it will get information back from the server now you're probably thinking oh no what kind of information are we talking here and it's not like player ips to my knowledge but it is still pretty bad it's the server ip the message of the day the players that are present and their uuids and their and their usernames the player count the server name and a couple other random things and this all of this data can all just be scraped from that and it can all be thrown into a database which it just seems like more people just replicated the original bot because there are two that i was able to find very easily that are publicly available one of my friends and i took to messing with these bots you can use a stream snipe type of command and you can find the exact exact IP address of the Minecraft server that that streamer is on. It also gives you info like the version, if it's vulnerable to certain exploits, things like that. You can just search. And what's even crazier is that you can take somebody's Minecraft username and you can search to find which servers they have joined and it all gets saved in a database. I'm not going to name the bots or the folks that attacked my server because frankly I don't want to give them the attention that they very clearly want. And I also don't really want to make this more widespread of an issue. I know that by making a video on it I'm already bringing more attention to it. It, but my video is more so aimed at the server admins that need to be protecting themselves better, which is a good segue into our sponsor, NordVPN. I'm just kidding. I have under 2,000 subs. Why did you think I had a sponsor? You're crazy. Anyway, so how do you prevent them from gaining access in the first place? Because that's like the core issue here. 
how can we stop them from getting these IP addresses and getting all this info on our servers? The answer is you kind of can't. There are plugins that claim they hide your server from it and from these types of bots. However, I, um, I don't think they work. I've tested a couple of them and none of them have worked. My server still shows up when I, when I check like past connections of my SMP members. I don't know if it won't come up when they like try to roulette and look for like random servers and if that stops it from happening, but it just didn't seem to work in general. Next thing is, well, let's just get DDoS protection so that it can't get crashed. And then we can also pair that with other things like a whitelist so that it can't get on the server to grief. DDoS protection can be very expensive. And then we could try TCP IP, but, but it's not the most secure unless you have their plugin installed and their plugin isn't compatible with pretty much anything that a lot of people will be using, especially as far as modded Minecraft goes. If you're on a normal, just vanilla server that's just using a couple plugins, then yeah, it'll work. But I mean, what about the rest of us, you know? Sadly enough, that's pretty much the only options that we actually have here. So if we can't stop them from getting the information about the Minecraft server, how can we prevent them from doing harm once they have it? And that is where we have a lot more that we can do. You can have a whitelist and you should have a whitelist on your server. If you are just a private small server, whitelist your players. If you are a public server, I understand that you may not be able to whitelist your players. What you can do is you can give your players a password that's available in a Discord, or you can make it so players can't join unless they're in your Discord. You can also have it so you have stricter anti-cheat and anti-grief plugins. However, if you don't have access to those really strict anti-cheat and anti-grief plugins, then I mean, the best you could maybe do is regularly back up your server, and that's pretty much all you can really do. At the end of the day, a whitelist is your best defense against this. If you're not going to do anything else, at least do that. I don't really know personally any strong anti-cheat or anti-grief plugins because I've never run a public server that was available to everybody, and I don't know what a good strict one would be. I mean, like I said, I haven't run a server that's required it. If any of you watching this know of any good mods or good plugins or good anti-cheat that server hosts can use, feel free to comment it below. And a lot of us probably just need a jumping off point for our research on how to deal with all of this. Another good thing is that if you have a modded server, it is kind of an extra layer of protection because if they don't have the exact mods list, they are not going to be able to connect, which will deter a lot of people because it's going to be pretty complicated to get that mods list. I mean, they'll have to go through and install it all. They might get your mods list from the error message, but not always. And lastly, what are my final thoughts on this? It's kind of weird to be doing another video on security related stuff with Minecraft mod packs, but I guess it's kind of predictable. I mean, my last one was on Fracturizer, which was a virus that infected a lot of really big CurseForge mod packs. I'll leave in the info card because you should watch it. I like, I really liked making that video. It was very interesting and it's very similar to this one. It's just me kind of rambling at you guys. To be honest, I'm kind of sad to see this happen because a lot of these Minecraft servers that are targets for these people are servers run by kids that are just trying to play with their friends, schools, small streamers that just want to enjoy that kind of a space with their community. I want to sit here and say that I understand how griefing and trolling can be fun, but I really just don't. Like, I understand trolling a little bit, but when I grief or troll, it's two people I know personally that are in on the joke. And I just, I guess I've never really understood how things can be funny when someone is clearly being harmed or hurt even just emotionally as a result of it to, to a reasonable extent obviously but then again maybe the people doing this just lack basic fucking empathy which i mean i wouldn't be surprised which i i honestly i think that's really funny considering that the whole message behind the people that may have done this i don't know if the person that did it is just posing as the people or whatnot they claim that they're doing this and like going after specifically servers that that have people on them that are all of the bad things i've hacked on a server or two before it was just little tiny meme servers like the minecraft gta one i like to tell that story a lot i was hacking on it with a friend of mine and they only caught me because i had no fall in it. not the flight hacks or the speed hacks or all the other stuff i was using i look back on that and i think wow that is such a fun time that i had but i didn't actually mess with any of the other players it was just my friend and i racing each other with max speed on down a highway in gta 5 minecraft edition or flying around the world just messing with each other anyway doing this kind of thing is just boring it's uh it's pretty lame and that's kind of the end of the video if you enjoyed uh please leave a like and subscribe and maybe comment to boost my video in the algorithm i'm a really tiny channel i'm trying to hit a higher milestone by the end of this year i wanted to shoot for 10k i don't know if we're on the road to do that but i'm hoping we'll hit 10k i'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by june which i think we can totally do anyway youtube thinks you're gonna like this video that's popping up on screen right now you have a great day Bye bye